Yo there guys, what is up? Loot Games here, and today we are doing Terraria Xbox One Edition Terraria Part 25. And I said Terraria twice then. But anyway, let's get straight into it. Today's objectives is to try and find one more turtle shell and get enough chlorophyte to make a full set of turtle armor. Now I do realize that it's one shell per piece, so I will actually need to go get another shell first. But to get that, we're gonna have to go into the jungle and do that. But I've tried to record this episode so many times, and every time I record it, something went wrong. The first time it was missing audio, so I exited without saving. <laughs> the second time, it just completely corrupted the file. The third time the video wouldn't render. So this is actually my fourth time recording this, and each time I actually got the correct things, it's just messed up every time. So I'm gonna give him a shout out straight away. The shout outs I'm gonna give today are Danny the Killer, Knife for Rama 253, Overs Jonas Tavit, Jack T, and RSN Cole 007 Pot. So let's get straight into it today's episode, which, like I say, the overall objective of one today is to kill Okram, which I'll be doing after I've done everything else. Get turtle armor, which is going to be really annoying. And maybe find the... What do you call it? Um, I forgot what it's called. Plantera, but yeah, Plantera spawner in the jungle biome. And if we can find that, that'll be awesome because then we're prepared to fight it when it comes to it. And I'm going to fight that after I've killed the Okram and... Yeah, after the Okram, because I don't have to defeat the Golem before that, because I won't have the Jungle Key Mold. Yeah, so I'll have to kill Plantera. Hopefully, he drops us a Key Mold, so I can use some of these Key Molds that I've got. I mean, hopefully, it drops a Temple Key, so I can use some of these Key Molds I've got, because obviously, you need the Temple Key. Then, you need anything else to craft the keys. But yeah, since last time, we ain't really done much. I've just gone into the Jungle Biome, got a few Chlorophyte. Nothing, nothing much really, and hopefully I can get that last turtle shell because I've been trying to get it for ages and I wanted to just make the armor straight away, go and kill Okram, but it looks like I'm going to have to go farm for some and it's already night time, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to kill Okram this episode, but if I do, that'll be awesome. It's a bit dark around, so I might start putting some torches down because it is really, really, really dark around here, so I'm going to have to put those down so I can see what I'm doing, but we're going to head to the jungle right now. And there's loads of sunflowers around. That's actually pretty lucky because it stops the corruption from growing, if you didn't know that. And it's a really good tip because that's really annoying, the corruption is. Especially the corruptors. And if you're on a really low level, well, not level, but if you're early on in the game, and you get lots of corruption in your world next to your house, it could be really damaging and they can do a lot of damage to you and kill you really easily. But we're going to see if we can find any more golden hearts today because it'll be a bonus if we can because it means we can survive longer obviously the more golden hearts you have the longer you live or that's how it's supposed to be depending on how good you are i guess but we need to light the place up a little bit oh here we go already found our first life fruit so that, that's good we only need what is that 10 12 more to actually get max <laughs> life fruits and then we'll get the achievement for maxing out our life and mana but before that, we're going to have to find some turtles, which normally there's loads of turtles hanging around here. So, pretty shocked that there isn't like a ton of turtles. Just a load of moss hornets. But we'll find a bunch. So, there's already there's chlorophyte. Like, I found this world. It's actually the best world I've ever had for chlorophyte. I don't even need to make a chlorophyte farm. Literally, <laughs> it just, just chlorophyte everywhere. So, I could just go get that. And there should be some more to the right, if I remember rightly. Because, like I say, I've tried to record this episode four times. And each time, something's gone wrong. If not the audio, the video would mess up. If not the video, something would go wrong. Oh, and I'm almost dead already. And this is the jungle for you guys. Literally, you just get destroyed in this place. There we are. So there's some... That might come in handy, actually, if I get that mithril. I literally need to just put torches everywhere because what is that life fruit doing? Is that even on a block? That is some weird gen life fruit, right? I'm just going to leave it there because I might be able to do something interesting with that. Normally, if it's on one block, you're not supposed to be able to... What if I uh, do something to the block? No, it's just going <laughs> to chill there. Look at it. So, obviously, our Uzi is our strongest weapon. Here's a turtle. Oh, God. Nope. <laughs> the turtle's too strong. 
That, that was the first turtle we saw today, and it literally almost killed us. We've got to wait eight seconds before we can drink a potion. Jeez. It's a long time. This moss horn, it wants to come get some. Drink the potion fast. There we are. So if we go and kill this moss horn it quickly, and then we'll work on the turtle. And they're not too hard as long as you can keep shooting them, because if you don't keep shooting them, then they can get really annoying, because they're just literally, they're so fast. I don't, I never understood why they're so fast. And it sort of goes against what turtles actually are. <laughs> they're normally really slow. Not that fast, but oh, there's man eaters and everything. Look at it. Oh, Mimic. Let's see if it drops us a star veil. I think we've already got a star veil, though. But it'll come in handy sometime. Let it go. What? Where did it... Oh, there it is. Running away from us. That's just... What did it drop? Oh, throwing knives. Really good weapon, that is. Especially against some of the bosses. That can be really helpful. Oh, God. Ah, use that. <laughs> I don't think I got poisoned, did I? No. So it should gen really fast here. Because, I don't know. I removed all my heart lanterns and everything. <laughs> I moved them over. So I'm going to have to go and see if I can just quickly use those and get back to the jungle. We've actually already got a ton. The magic dagger is going to be really, really, really good, actually. 44 damage. That's one of the best things you could probably get off the mimic. We need to go reforge it. How many gold do we have? 57. Why am I taking that around with me? <laughs> a lot of gold. And that's just from bosses and stuff that have been killing, really. Nothing, nothing else. Uh, the fallen stars might come in handy. We're not really going to use many of those. Or hives, mud blocks. Got tons of them around. We can always gen a new world for that. Let's quickly use this life fruit. So now we just need 11 life fruits. And eventually we, like I say, we'll get max life fruits. But let's go and make this chlorophyte into bars. Because I think it's 54 bars on it. And I might be very, very close to getting that. Just by smelting these bars in the furnace. Is it not? Oh, it's because I went up my adamantite foot furnace. <laughs> Or you can use an adamantite or titanium one. So we need three more chlorified bars, which is 18. Or we've got five or honors. And then we can eventually make the turtle armor. But we still need that last turtle shell, which is going to take forever to get. Because the drop rate of turtle shells is really low. But I'm hoping we can get that soon. Let's see if we can reforge this magic dagger. I think godly is the best trait. I'm not 100%. I'm not <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna keep godly just in case it is is the best trait. I, I can never remember if it is or isn't But yeah, the, ma the magic dagger is epic. I mean it uses your mana, but at a really really low cost and It's just really strong to be honest, even though they don't go far. It's really is strong So we're gonna head back to the jungle now and test our new magic dagger because everything's gonna be reasonably close to us and yeah, so <laughs> we can test it in the corruption because there's always something in the corruption. See, that is epic. Wow. Flying Slimer. <laughs> I'm considering not getting that. Should I get that? Yeah, let's get it anyway. Curse Flames will always come in handy if we need to make some of the magic books. That is really, really powerful. Obviously not as powerful as my Uzi because my Uzi is super fast shooting. And every shot it does about 40 damage, so... Is it 40 damage? Yeah, 40, 46, 80. 80 on max critical hits, which is pretty much what the magic dagger does on max critical hits. So, yeah, it's not, not too much difference. We're heading to the jungle now, and we'll go and hopefully get our last turtle shell and our last few chlorophytes. And I know there's tons of chlorophyte down here, because like I say, I've done this previously, but the amount of times it's failed, it's just awful. Oh, come on. We can't have all these sludges attacking us. I'm pretty sure I saw another mimic just a second ago. Should we test it out? Yeah, no, nowhere near as good as the Uzi. I wouldn't say. It's, it's a magic weapon as well, so... Might come in handy one day. I don't know. Got another life fruit growing there. I'm just going to let that grow because... I don't want to... Interrupt it growing. The amount of bees or these, these drop... Like, I've, I've literally just gave up even picking bezoars up if I see them. Because I've got so many that I could literally make anything I want with them. Come on. 
I just realised what I've done as well. <laughs> oh god, there's too many hornets around. There's just a ton of them. Look at them all. We need to put some torches down, definitely. Can't see anything in this place. Oh, alright, that the moss hornet. <laughs> Take it down. There's just literally a ton of things in this place. Just not what we want. <laughs> Look at all that paladinium. This world gen is just epic. I mean, no, probably not even going to ever use that. But it will come in handy one day, I'm pretty sure. Just, just in one place, there's 30-something paladinium ore. Really? That's just... It's just unheard of. No, I'm probably not the luckiest person. But, oh, is that a bunch of chlorophyte as well? Yes, it is. <laughs> See what I mean? This world is just epic, world gen. Um, I, I don't even know how. It just is. And I think I've got, actually got enough chlorophyte now. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely enough chlorophyte. <laughs> See what I mean? Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to stay away. I don't know what's down here. Oh, turtle. Oh, man eaters. Turtles. What else? What's he doing out of the water? Get back in the water. No. They're not supposed to be able to get out the water. What do they think they're doing? I need to put way more torches down. Ooh. Literally just got to dodge everything because the, the jungle is just a dangerous place. It really is. Especially if you haven't got a lot of defense. And I've got a total of 36 defense. And I'm still getting thrown around like it's nothing. I could use better equipables though. I guess that'll... Help me a lot if I get better equipables, but you know, it's a thing that you slowly get. You don't have the best equipables from from the start of the game. Most of the good equipables you get near the end of the game. You can get a few good ones, but you know, I just gotta put it out there that pretty much the best ones you get when you start getting all the good waves of things. We we still need to try get a hero sword, which is gonna probably take a while. <laughs> What's he doing out of the water? That's yet another thing that's just jumped out of the water into the land. But hopefully we can get a... If we can find a bunch of more chlorophyte, we could actually also make chlorophyte armor. And have that as well as having our turtle armor. Another life fruit. Might, might start picking these up, you know. Only because... It, just, I don't know. They might come in handy one day to help some people out or something. I, I don't know. But yeah, that one life fruit was so strange. I'm pretty sure you can do a glitch if it's on one block. But I can't remember how to do it. So... I'm not going to be able to show you that, because I, I honestly don't know. But I think it was um, it was Beecher, I think, who showed it. it might have been Beecher. It might, be, it might have been somebody else. But they showed this glitch where if, if it was on one block, you could actually do so. I don't, I don't, it was a weird glitch. I don't even know. You'd have to search it up. I might search it up after this video just to check out how it how it is, I guess. Jeez, there's so much water. Look, I told you guys, this world and chlorophyte is just epic. You don't even need a chlorophyte farm. Chlorophyte farm might come in handy, but no, we just don't need it. And the chlorophyte farm would be good for if we need chlorophyte bullets, because chlorophyte bullets are obviously really strong, so that's certainly a thing I'm going to consider. But before we do that, we need to just mine all this chlorophyte. I swear it's spawning in front of us. There we are. There's another piece of chlorophyte up there. Let's go grab it. Is there anything else? I don't know. But finding that Plantera spawn is going to be really annoying. It's either, well, it's either going to be really annoying or it's just going to be in plain sight because that's what it normally is. It's either really annoying to find or it'll be in plain sight. Which it once it was. Ooh, the Travelling Merchant. Probably not going to sell anything. I think I bought everything off the traveling merchant, though. I might go check in a minute. But yeah, we need we need that last turtle child. There ain't no turtles. Ooh, angry trapper. Let's see if we get another Uzi. And nope. No other Uzi for us. So many mobs around, but there isn't any turtles. This sucks. Uh, there's a lot of mobs to the left, but I've got a really good feeling that they're not mobs that we're going to need. I doubt they're turtles. And I've noticed turtles actually spawn in more open areas, so areas like this. 
I normally find turtles in. I don't know if that's that's uh, some regulation there, but that's where I normally find them. Get this this bit chlorophyte. Like I say, it would come in handy if I need to make chlorophyte armor, or if I need to, you know, just use it for bullets and stuff. Because it's one chlorophyte bar for so many bullets. I think it's I don't know how many it makes, but it it makes a good few. But obviously, you need a lot of chlorophyte for that. <laughs> just talking about chlorophyte, and it just turns. Literally, this has probably been the best world I've ever had for chlorophyte. And that's not even a joke. Like, normally, I have a, I struggle to find a good batch of chlorophyte like this. The party girl? I thought we already had the party girl. Uh, probably, what? Well, yeah, actually, they probably did die. Let's just double check what that traveling merchant is selling, because... It might come in handy. It might not. Whereabouts is it spawned? To the left. To the left. To the left. Let's go to the left of the map. And we'll go talk to Travelling Merchant. Normally he spawns in the little hole, but I guess because I weren't in the house. Alright, he has he has got a couple new things. Magic hat. I haven't got one of those. Um, What else is he selling? Oh, wrong shop. So we'll sell him some rubbish stuff that we're probably not going to use, like dirt has no value. Jal has a couple of value. Um, mud block, no value. Silt, no value. <laughs> and yeah, let's just sell that. So let's buy some chalices. Ah, no. <laughs> I think I used all my gold when I was, um, of course, they're, they're silver coins. So that's equal to one gold. So good. I've probably got a few things to sell as well. Sake. As long as we have one of each item, that's, that's all I'm, I mind about. Yeah, that's all, that's all I really care about. Let's go put it in our traveling merchant pouch that I've got down here. I think it's the third one. Yeah. Here's all my traveling and merchant stuff. So, yeah, there, there we go. So, we've got the ha head piece, the magic hat, sorry, sake, and a chalice. That's really awesome. We've got a few mimic drops there. Um, I don't know if we can make the um, cross necklace into anything. Pretty sure you can. But let's go make this chlorophyte into chlorophyte bars. And yeah, let's go do that. Let's go up here. Is it night time or is it just because... No, it is, I think... It's going to be turning night time soon. So then we'll fight the Okram. And I've got enough chlorophyte bars now. But I need the turtle shell, obviously. Which is probably going to take a while to get. But we'll head over to our jungle again in a minute. See if we can get it. If not, then it doesn't really matter too much. We'll just try and get it. So we've got 66 chlorophyte now, which is definitely enough. And let's just check. So there's the chlorophyte greaves, but that's not what we want. We want the turtle greaves, and here is the turtle greaves. So 18 and 1 turtle shell, 4% melee, and enemies are most likely to target you. So what I like about the turtle armor the most is the fact that it actually gives you this thing where when enemies attack you, they take the full damage. And because I'm more of a warrior, I know I'm using range at the minute, but because I'm more of a warrior, I like to use that to my advantage. And when enemies knock into me, they take the full damage, and it just makes it so much easier. But yeah, we're going to have to... I don't know, we have to make the... I'm still considering making chlorophyll armor first, because it's going to come in handy a lot, and I'm pretty sure chlorophyll increases range as well. So, that would definitely come in handy, uh, like, a lot. Let's head it back over to our jungle really quickly. Before it turns night time, see if we can get our last turtle shell. If not, then there's nothing, nothing too bad. There's nothing we could do about that. But, yeah. Let's just check. See if any turtles attack us. Don't think any turtles are around here whatsoever. Normally, they're just, like, coming for me, but... Oh, there's one. No turtle shell, though. Well, it's not, not that bad, I guess. 
But we have a big jungle, so we'll go across it, see if we can find one. If not, then it's not, like I say, it's not all that bad. Oh, no, not derplings. I hate derplings. Just come along, thinking they're all that. Hit you and then take about half of your life off. <laughs> Literally, they're that strong. It's ridiculous, but that's how strong they are. You can't do anything about their, their strength. My jungle is huge. It's massive. It's a shame that more turtles don't spawn, though. Literally, like, if more turtles spawned, it'd just be so sick. And I could just sit here farming turtles, but that's not how it always goes, is it? So now we're going to use our godly Drax. Do you want to get this, uh... I think it's... Is godly the highest? Or is, I think it might be legendary. So I'd, I'd like a legendary one. But if not, we'll just stick with the godly one. There we are. Let's get all that. <laughs> Is that... Oh, I thought I was... I thought it was a core fight then. It's just a bit of grass. Nothing, nothing good. Yeah, we're coming out of the jungle now. That's going straight into our desert biome. And the merchant has finally departed. We don't need him now. We bought everything we need off him at... Pretty sure that completes everything that I can get before defeating Plantera. I'll have to kill Plantera before I can get anything decent, I'd say. Like the Katana. And all the other cool things he sells. I think he sells the Pulse Bow, doesn't he? And that's a really good one to get if you can get out of him. Costs quite a bit of gold, but definitely worth it. I think it's night time now, so I'm going to head back home. When I'm back home, I'm going to prepare myself for this fight with the Okram. We just need to buy ourselves some bullets, I suppose. And then, yeah. And it's not going to be too too hard, but, you know, it'll, it'll be a challenge. And as long as you stay away from the Okram, I know normally it's alright. I, I don't know how much I spend on these coins. If, if say, a thousand... 1,000, 1,500 copper. And 1,500 copper is about 10, 11, 12 silver, something like that. There we go. So now we need to go to our inventory. And boom. Oh, it's not night time yet, apparently. Oh, it is night time. But Arkram don't look like you want to spawn. Do you want to spawn now? Oh, there we are. Finally. Oh, he just, just... Jeez, see how fast he... He just come out of nowhere? Jesus. That was extremely fast. Just as long as we stay away from the servant of the Okrams and, and the Okram itself, we should be okay. And I say that and I'm sticking really close to it. Whoa, look at this. Epic battle. I still haven't filled in that either, have I? Oh, I'm such a noob. Oh. Come on. Oh, look at all those critical hits. They're, they're, they're what you want. I wonder if the Okram... Can the Okram revive himself with the servants? Or... I wonder. But when we kill him, we're going to get a, a piece of dragon armor. So that, that'll be cool. Well, if we kill him, sorry. Because <laughs> I don't know if we're going to have enough time to kill him. We should do, because we're actually we're actually taking quite a lot of damage off. Oh, God. I've got myself into a bad spot there. Look at all the servants. Look at them all. Well, there's tons. There's literally... Is there, is there supposed to be that many spawned? Like, literally. I'm going to use one of them now, because I know for a fact I'm going to... Need it. <laughs> oh, God. I need to make that longer. Like, quite a bit longer. Oh, no. There's so many servants, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we outrunned him. As if. That was, that was amazing. Uh-oh. Don't want to get in too close. 
I say that and I'm still getting really close to him. Uh oh, he's in his rage mode. He's in his rage mode. No, please don't shoot me. No! We got slain, but no! Oh no! I sent my spawn down here! Uh oh! No, 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 no! Oh god! No! Now all my NPCs are gonna die as well! Not the best place to set. No! Because my source spawn's set down here as well! No, this isn't fair! My spawn is literally set. I need to set it up here. There we go. Spawn point was set. All good. Now let's see if we can get away. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's absolutely smashing us up. How are you supposed to dodge that? I, I literally mean it. How are you supposed to dodge that? This is just ridiculous. Like, it's undodgeable. That is undodgeable. There's no way you can dodge that. And I mean it. There is literally just no way you can even dodge his attacks. It's just, what? It's like, there's no way you could dodge that. How do they expect you to dodge such a an attack from such a powerful enemy? You know? We were doing fine until he got into this mode. Jeez. There's just no way to dodge that unless you're going you're using it. They, they literally, how are you supposed to you supposed to use some sort of something like I don't well, something different I suppose I need to get that bed and put it somewhere else because that is not a place, good place for a bed I need to make a small house or something and put it outside because when I'm fighting bosses it just doesn't help whatsoever nope I'm, I've got seven deaths as long as I can kill him I'll be happy but if I don't kill him then well I won't kill him that's pretty much it We need to get our revenge on this fool. Ah. I wish I bought my gravitation potions, to be honest, actually. That would have been a good way to dodge him. Jeez, that's like our 90th death. 100th death. The amount of servants he's getting is just stupid now as well. Oh, it, it just just one one row of that and you're dead. There's just no way you can dodge that. Jeez. There's so many servants as well. It just makes it impossible to shoot him as well. What's happened to my cursor? It keeps going... It keeps changing itself. My cursor does. Hang on, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where was the Okram gone? Servants here, but the Okram's disappeared. Is he is he gone or? I think he's gone. I think he's. he's... Yep, he's gone. Well, I guess that was a fun battle up until he get to his second wave and he just literally started destroying me. So that wasn't a very good Okran battle. Uh, hopefully I can do better next time when I get my turtle armor. Then hopefully we can do a little bit better on that because we did actually die quite a few times. I'm actually surprised that I've died that many times, but it's because he's so strong when he gets into his second form. And he's got tons of life, so you need to start killing him. And when I get my turtle armor, I believe that I'll be able to do it. And I'll be able to fight him more efficiently, I suppose. But yeah, that, that's been today's episode. I'm going to try and get another Okram spawner for next episode. We'll give, we'll give it another go, because by then, hopefully, I can find one turtle shell. That's all I need to find. <laughs> and I think I had about 12 deaths, and I still didn't kill him. I got so close to it. But like I say, he, he does get annoying. But that's just how it goes, guys. And... Yes, <laughs> we need to get rid of all these greys. Look at them all. They're just all there. And even, like I say, even though I didn't kill Okram in this episode. Hopefully we can kill him next episode. And yeah, so anyway guys, I'll see you next time. And peace.